Yo, what is up, you two? James back here, and welcome back to another episode of VGC 2020 Back to Battles. Today, we have the Cinderace Bishop Dracovish team once again with Real Boom, Dust Clops, and Togus accompanying it. If you haven't checked out the previous episodes, highly recommend go check it out. But uh, yeah, if you want to use this team alongside me, there is a rental code of this team down below in the description. Highly recommend go check it out. Uh, the code will expire in a couple days when we switch to a brand new team, so highly recommend grabbing it while you can. And there is a placement of the team also in the description down below. So I highly recommend you go check it out. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to leave a like down below and leave a comment down below. It really does help improve the algorithm and it really does push my video forward. I'd really appreciate it. So, and also if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do hit that bell notification as well when you subscribe for all the latest updates of when these videos go out. So. Otherwise, I think there's one more thing I had to say. Well, I guess I could talk about my Twitch channel. I mean, it's not like I never talk about my Twitch channel on this uh, channel. But of course, if you do want to check me out live and ask me questions and see me play more VGC, you could go check that out. My Twitch talk TV slash James W Beck link is in the description down below. Highly recommend go check it out. And let's get started with today's videos. <laughs> So today's common question of the day. Ooh. So we had to talk about pancakes and that talk got me so into pancakes. Uh, you don't even know, but craving pancakes. But I had, I got like a, quite a few responses from uh, everyone about waffles. So you know what? Today's question is a huge debate chat or not chat or to the viewers. You can tell I've been streaming a lot on Twitch. Pancakes or waffles? Which one is your favorite? Tell me in the comments down below. Honestly, I like both of them. I also like both of them. I can't really say which one because I really don't have them too much off too often. I think I had pancakes more. I'm I do like waffles. I cannot lie. I do like waffles. It's hard. I can't really say. I think it'd be a pancake, but I really do like waffles. I don't know. It's a tough question. But that's your that's your thing down below. You gotta tell me. What an interesting team. Durant, uh, what's that thing called? Berserker. Indidi, uh, Whimsicott, Clefairy, and the Inteleon. So we got some interesting stuff right here. Okay. Some very interesting stuff. Um, I like having Cinderace plus... This is kind of a tough matchup. Yeah, this is kind of a tough matchup. As the Whimsicott makes it annoying with the Inteleon and Durant. <laughs> um... I don't think Dracovish does super well in the end. I'm going to go Bishop and Reelabim. We'll see how this goes. This looks really tough, actually, for my matchup. Because I can't really, like, spam Fisher's friends against anything. Because Durant has good defense. Uh, there's Tailwind. There's Follow Me. Dracovish isn't really that good. Um, I can't really deal so much damage. If Dantelion has Snipe Shot, it could be a 50% chance right off the bat in the game. We're going to see that NDD and Inteleon lead. So, um... Yeah, this could be interesting. So that Psychic Surge is going to come out from my opponent. Okay. Activates the Psychic Seed. Okay. So I'll go for the Max Strike here into the Inteleon slot. And... I just don't know if Inteleon Dynamax is going the offense, sets up its focus energy or whatever it could have. I think the play is just to go for the follow me though. Yeah, I like going for follow me. I rather uh, risk the... Um, I rather risk like one, I don't think Snipeshot crit... I don't know, it'd be tough. Snipeshot crit could knock me out. And remember, Snipeshot does ignore follow me, so... We could be in a really tough position right off the bat, but I don't really see something that gains us too much momentum. Maybe I could have went real of him though, but I just don't want to give Duran an opening if I am able to pick up knockouts early. But let's see. Okay, follow me gonna come out and it looks like uh, no Dynamax from my opponent, okay. Follow me is gonna come out from my opponent as well. I'm guessing that's like Snipeshot or something. Yeah, okay. Uh, is that critical hit? Doesn't look like it. Okay, that's really good. We are going to be able to get the max strike off, and this will come out into the 
Uh, Indy D slot, which should be able to pick a knockout. Ooh, just barely not. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, that means follow me and another snipe shot is very possible here. Yeah, that's very possible. Um, I'm actually gonna go real boom here, I think, actually. And I'm gonna go for a dazzling gleam right off the bat. Mm, is this a play? Because I just. I just don't want to risk snipe shot critting me now. I think Snapshot Crit would have actually knocked me out, which I thought I would live with a little bit more if it was the case, but it doesn't look like it. So I'm actually going to switch out, going to Real Boom. One, it gets rid of the Psychic Terrain, and two, I get to go for a Dazzle here. Which isn't bad, because it will knock out the Indy D at this range and get some chip onto the Inteleon. So uh, let's see. Indy D goes for Follow Me once again. It is Snapshot once again, going to be into the Real Boom slot this time. Okay, perfect. Is this not crit? It might be not crit. I don't know. That's two crits my opponent didn't get. So I don't know if it is crit Inteleon or not. But what's good is we got into a position where it's not too, too bad right now. Because Inteleon's minus one speed, which means my uh, Cinderace is going to actually be able to outspeed it, which is amazing. So if I'm able to get rid of the Cinderace, I feel pretty good about sending in the... Uh, what's it called? Oh boy, Clefairy coming out though. Hmm. The fairy is interesting here. I'm actually gonna go for Dazzling Gleam plus the uh, Fake Out here because there's a chance he might not have Protect on the Inteleon. And yep, it looks like that's gonna be the case. So I'm able to get some Chip, which is nice. Goes for the Follow Me, probably expecting a Wood Hammer, but that's perfect. I'm guessing this doesn't have... It might be Inteleon with Focus Energy Drew Attacks because I just don't see it being anything else. We're gonna get a good Gleam off. Good Chip into that Inteleon slot, okay. Very good Chip. And uh, now we can go for a knockoff into Clefairy, get rid of that item real quick, and we'll go for the Dazzling Gleam into the Intellion Slot. What if... I'm a little bit concerned if the Rand comes in for the Intellion Slot and Clefairy protects. That would actually be pretty horrendous. Yeah, so I'm actually going to Dazzling Gleam knockoff the, the Intellion Slot. Because if Intellion goes down here, then it's an okay position for me. But yeah, I just couldn't have Inteleon on the back because that's the Pokemon I could deal with Cinderace effectively. Ice Beam gonna come out into the real boom. Okay. Is that crit? I can't tell. Okay, I just don't think this is crit Inteleon then. I'm actually surprised. Or either my opponent's having like the worst luck possible right now with this. So we're able to get a knockoff into the Clefairy, get rid of that Violet, which means my gleams are gonna be able to do more. Or my um potential attack right here with the real boom. Okay. I really wonder if you have Protect on the uh, Durant. The Durant should be coming out now. Yep, Durant. Comes down to the last move. Um, I have a Bishop that's still pretty healthy. You're going to Steel Spike. I think I just keep Togekiss alive, actually. Yeah, because if I lose Reelaboom, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, because if I lose Reelaboom, it's not that big of a deal. I actually know Dynamax coming out from my opponent yet, so saving it for the last moment, or it doesn't have it. <laughs> it's one of the two. We're going to see the follow me from Clefairy, as we're going to see a Iron Head into Togekiss, it looks like. Yep, okay, that's perfect. And since you don't have a Violet, I should be able to actually just knock out this um, Clefairy right here. With the Grassy Terrain Drum Beating. Yes, I am. Okay, perfect. I want to keep Togus around for the follow me pressure. Because if you knocked out real of them there, I was able to get a free switch to Cinderace. And I clicked follow me plus a Pyro Ball, which would have been very safe. Uh, so I was fine with losing real of with the lead. But since my opponent went for the Iron Head, uh, I was able to get rid of Clefairy, which is also amazing. So we'll go for knockoff right here. And uh, we'll go for... Bishop's kind of useless in this position, so I'm actually going to sack Bisharp because I don't need Bisharp in this game at all. Uh, like, having Togekiss for the late game is actually nice because I can click Follow Me plus Pyro Ball if this Durant doesn't carry Rock Slide. So, yeah, I think it's worth it. But we will see the Durant coming out. 
Actually, knockoff probably didn't get me much momentum. I don't know what else could I have done. Or drum beating? It doesn't really change much. I will see here. Sales spike gonna come out and it's his hocus most likely. Yep. Like no matter how many sales spikes you go for, you're still going down to a pirate ball. Knock off. Okay, cool. Okay, the life orb. And we'll go for the U-turn plus the uh, sucker punch, I think. Yeah. Because you're going to go for attack here with Durant. I don't know if you're going to target the bishop slot or if you're going to target the real boom slot. I'd rather just U-turn out with the real boom here. And, uh, yeah. We target the real boom, no big deal. Again, we're just trying to get the Cinder Ace in if possible. If you go target the bishop slot, I just get a free switch into my, uh, I get a free switch into my Cinder Ace next to Togekiss. So let's see who you target. It's going to be Flutterbutt. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> I'm really not sure about that one. Okay. The real boom goes down. Also, Steel Spike with a KO. So I'm actually surprised my opponent went for uh, Flutter by. Yeah, it didn't make any sense in my opinion. I will go for Cinderace here. At least I'm pretty sure Steel Spike would have knocked out Cinderace. I mean, not Cinderace. Real boom with that range. We'll go Cinderace and uh, we'll go Togekiss actually. And Sucker Punch the Durant because you have to target Cinderace here, I think. I don't think you can afford not to target Cinderace in this position. So I'm going to go Togekiss here. This way, um, I have like a few Sucker Punch stress with the Bishop, I think. And that's what we're going to go for. So Sucker Punch going to come out. You have a really good amount, actually. Wait, going to come out. Or I could... That, that works, too. Because now I can Sucker Punch the Durant here and that will be able to pick up a knockout. And yeah, that's very safe here. Yeah. Double so Sucker Punch. That should knock out the Durant at that range. And yeah, we're going to be able to knock out the Durant. So, very nice. Um, If this wasn't crit and Taliana, i just say my opponent got super unlucky with the crits. Because uh, my opponent went for three of them, I believe. And did not get any of them. I don't know if my opponent's sharing team. It looks like it's not going to be the case. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I just don't know what to say about that video. It looked like a setup Intellion team, but the Intellion part never set up. And also, I think my opponent could have saved the Intellion for the endgame Cinderace, which is why I want to be conservative. I try to uh, position as much as possible so I don't lose to that. Or I gave myself the best odds to win. And my opponent just gave me the resources that he had. Like, being able to get rid of the Intellion that turn, I think, was absolutely huge. So, yeah, just being able to get rid of that in Italian is incredible. Because it allowed my uh, Cinderace, assuming it hit Pirate Ball, to win the game. So, we're going to see the next team, which is going to be... Okay, another Whimsicott. I really hate dealing with the Whimsicott stuff. But my opponent doesn't have really good answer to this combination, I think. Hmm. Okay. I could lead Bishar, but I don't know if you lead into it. Yeah, d why do you have... Okay, it's probably beat up Arcanine. Yeah, it's probably beat up Arcanine, actually. Why would you have Arcanine, Incineroar, Tyranitar on the same team? <laughs> oh, I just... Yeah, it has to be beat up. I I don't think it's fulfilling the Intimidate bulk, uh, bulky role here. Okay. So we'll go with the Draco Vision Bishop in the back, because, like... Again, the point is to get the speed control up so that I can sweep with Draco Bish and or Bishop. And Bishop is really good against my opponent's team. Assuming I can eliminate the fire type Pokemon. And Draco Bish has a pretty good shot at just one hit KOing pretty much almost everything on my opponent's team. Barring the Sylveon. Uh, not the Sylveon. Well, if it Dynamax the Sylveon, then maybe. But mainly the Gyarados. Although I do have to be worried because I did remember that Sylveon does get access to Quick Attack. So I can't let Draco Bish take too much damage because I... It's just Rens. If it's not boosted, we'll probably be a 2 or even 3 a KO on Sylveon, and that wouldn't be very good. So, Gyarados and Sylveon will lead here. Okay. Is this Intimidate or Moxie? Okay, it is Moxie. I, was, I, would, I would hope it's not. <laughs> Alright.
I think we just go for airstream into Gyarados and click follow me. I just don't see a drawback to that play. Yeah. I do not see a drawback to that play. I don't mind sacking Togekiss to get a free switch into my Bisharp afterward and then gain a click airstream again into Iron Head. So I'll definitely take this turn. Uh, there could be a switch to Incineroar here, which I could see, or my opponent going for Hyper Voice. I think both of them would be relatively pretty fair plays. So um, I'm just trying to get again in that position where Bisharp can start doing a lot of damage here. And it looks like no switch out for my opponent. So I'm getting the maximum airstream unless my opponent went for Max Guard or Protect right here with one of these Pokemon. So let's see. Cinder Ace does Dynamax here. Get in the giant, giant rabbit. And Dynamax does come out. I'm guessing it's Gyarados. They always Dynamax Gyarados. If he Dynamax Selby, I'll be super impressed. Let's see. Although I don't think it's like worth it. Yeah, it's a Gyarados. And they never do it. Okay. So let's see how much this Airstream does. I'm assuming it does probably 45%. Oh, Sylveon protects. Maybe thinking of a hard read. Actually, might knock out Sylveon, but it just depends on the Eevee spread. So, I'm going to be able to get a good follow me off with our Togekiss. Okay, that's amazing for us because we take even less damage here. We will go for the Airstream into what was the uh, Gyarados here. Uh, this should still do a really good amount. Probably like at least 40. Yeah, it does a really good amount. I say that's a really good amount. And we're going to see the what's it come from the Gyarados. It's going to be the Airstream once again. That's completely okay. Into the toad. It's okay. So if the Gyarados has max guard, I wouldn't be surprised if it does. That'd be fine. It's actually life up on the Gyarados. Okay. I'm actually going to go for the Airstream into the Gyarados slot. And I'm actually going to follow me again. Is there a difference between airstreaming and going... Actually, airstream gleam is probably very safe because I get the KO anyway. Unless you go for yawn. Because I'm trying to think, does Incineroar switch in here? I think gleam plus airstream would knock out the Gyarados and I'd probably outspeed the Gyarados after being plus two. Okay, let's go for it. Oh, has max guard. Okay, that makes it that uh, interesting. Okay. So airstream into the protect max guard. Maybe it's dragon dance. We do go for a dazzling gleam. Chip away at the Sylveon just by a bit. And hyper voice. Yep. Okay. Focus actually survives and that really didn't do much actually. Like that really didn't do much. A throw spray does activate here. That's not that big of a deal. I'm going to go for the airstream again in the Gyarados. And I'm actually going to go fire off another dazzling gleam. I just don't see a reason to. Sylveon's not going to be able to knock me out anyway. I think I'm in a pretty good position. I don't Whimsicott comes back in. No, we, we should still be fine. Yeah, we should still be fine. I'm just worried about endgame Whimsicott. Endgame Whimsicott, or late game Whimsicott, not endgame. It's going to be scary with the Tailwind pressure. I could technically just follow me in Airstream to Sylveon. Which wouldn't be like a terrible play. We're actually going to see the Gyarados switch out, which is interesting because like... Okay. Into what? Incineroar? Tyranitar. Um, I'll take that, I guess. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> okay, not what I expected here. I guess the sand will knock out Togekiss, but that actually puts me in an amazing spot, actually. Yeah, because Tyranitar will be going down to... Iron Head after the Gleam damage. So that's perfect, actually. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect. Guys on Gleam. Let's see if you're weak to policy. You're definitely bulky. You took that really well. It's weak to policy. So it's most... It's not Jolly. It's not Jolly uh, Tyranitar, which is important. Like, that's really important, actually. Um... Cinderace is a plus two, so I'll we'll speed basically everything on my opponent's team. Oh, wait, I'm not going down, right? I really want to go for Pyro Ball. 
I'm just really scared of endgame. Ah, actually, if it's endgame Whim's God, I think I'm good now. Yeah, even if I lose these two Pokemon, I think I should be fine. I'm gonna Dazzle and Gleam Pyro Ball to Sylveon slot. Chimera time I protect on a high jump kick. Uh, it looks like it's not gonna be the case, but I think that's fine because I think everything's in range of Bisharp. Like, Bisharp's gonna be, like, really key here. We knock out the Sylveon. That's amazing. Okay. On Rock Slide, probably gonna be coming out. Oh, wait, we don't knock out Sylveon. Wow, that's a bulky Sylveon. Dazzle and Gleam able to uh, knock out the Sylveon there. Thankfully. And Rock Slide should be coming out. Yep. No dodge, so that's fine. I don't think it's that bad because now Dracovish plus the Bishop should be okay here in this position. Yeah. Because it really depends on how fast this Tyranitar is too, because I'm not exactly too sure. Let's see. I got the Bish. And the Bishop. Against who's coming out here. It is Whimsicott in the back. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. Um, I think Tyranitar is in range of Sucker Punch. I'm going to fish this Rance to Tyranitar, and I think Iron Head the Whimsicott because... I try to think. If you go for... If you Tailwind here, you have to be faster than Dracovish, which means you have to have some speed on the Tyranitar at least. And Tyranitar probably doesn't even knock out either one of my Pokemon. Uh, realistically. So I'm actually going to go for Iron Head into the uh, Wounds God Inefficient Spend. Tailwind's going to come out. Okay, let's see. Moment of Truth. It is Jolly Dracovish. Yeah, it actually. Because, like, I was looking at the bulk that this Tyranitar did, taking the Airstream plus the Dazzling Gleam. It really didn't seem like it was going to be fast. It did seem pretty bulky, so I didn't assume. Like, I assumed basically, based off those calcs, it didn't seem like it. And, yeah, that should be game because now uh, the Wounds God will go down to Sand, and that's perfect. That is perfect. Moonblast could have maybe... I think Moonblast Protect could have changed this game, but even then, I think Bishop could have had this sealed up with an Iron Head in the Tyranitar, assuming there's no double Protect from the Tyranitar in the end game. But let's say Moonblast knocked out the Draco Vish with the sand damage. Um, uh, it would have Bishop would have had Sash, and it came down to... Uh, does Tyranitar get a double Protect? Because I would... Uh, I'll speed, go for Iron Head, and then Sucker Punch game would probably seal it up from here. So we'll go for Fisher's Wrens here and uh, Sucker Punch. And yeah, that'll be game because uh, Gyarados can't really do anything to stop this. If it attacks, it goes down. And if it stays in, it just, you know. Yeah. Sucker Punch does finish off the Gyarados. And we're able to pick up two wins today's episode. Uh, yeah, that game could have been completely different, though. The my opponent making a really aggressive hard return one. Maybe my opponent thought I would go for Steel Spike, which makes sense since some Sin races do go for the Iron Head or do opt for it to have that Steel Spike option. Well, let's check my opponent's team. Why not? Okay, this was a support <laughs> arc and nine. It wasn't beat up. I thought it really would be beat up. Taunt Gyarados. That's where the max guard came from. Okay. Throat Spray on the Sylveon with Charm and Yawn. Jeez. These sets are crazy. It is bold on Sylveon, uh, as you can see. So that's why I was able to take the Pyro Ball pretty well after all the chip. The weakest policy from the Tyranitar, and as I assumed, it wasn't very fast at all. 81. As you can see, it had a lot of defense. Yeah, it did take the airstream like a lot better than I expected to. Uh, a lot of HP, and it looks like a lot of attack too, which I wasn't expecting as much. Um, actually, maybe that's not a lot of attack. That doesn't look like a lot of attack actually. No, I don't think that is actually. Uh, we got the. Is this careful, Wim Scott with Leech Seed? <laughs> oh man. And uh, Incineroar. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to say don't run Arcanine and Incineroar on the same team. But hope that everyone enjoyed today's episode of VGC 2020 Vector Battles. We are going to be able to go 2-0 in today's episode. So the combination of Cinder Ace plus the Draco Vish and Bisharp has been doing very well. If you do want to try out the team alongside me, there is a rental code of the team available for your usage down below in the description down below and yeah you can go check it out there's also pacement of the team as well you can go check that out as well i'll be sure to grab it while you can because there is a expiration date for those code or at least the rental code because when we switch to a brand new team we will be uh yeah we will no longer have that rental code available so make sure you grab it while you can you can check out my social medias as well my side series on the channel you can check out my twitch channel as i mentioned before i do stream vgc come hang out with me and my awesome community in the description down below, twitch.tv slash james if you want to go an extra mile to support my content, 
there's my Patreon page available, but you can just help out my videos for free by leaving a like on the video, sharing it them with your friends, leave a comment down below just by watching. Thank you all for tuning in as well. And anything else that I really want to mention? Yes, my community discord. If you do want to check out my community discord, make sure you go check it out down below in the description is an invite link. And you can join me and my awesome community talk about VGC and other video games in general. We have a great time there, but that is going to be it. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day, people. Until we bow again, I'll catch y'all later.